I was gonna ask you straight up, do you pay for anything in the city? Like, you just pull up and be like, hey, llegó Kike! I wish I didn't have to pay for rent, <laughs> but I do. Enrique Kike Hernandez. The World Series champion is one of the most versatile players in La Grande Liga. And while he's played in some of the largest markets in baseball, he's always repping La Isla del Encanto. Kike roasts La Competencia on the diamond, but I went to see how this Boricua cooks off the field. Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, papá. Dime, mi hermano. Mira, te prometí que íbamos a cocinar. Como tú eres de Boston, yo soy de Nueva York, vamos a hacer una competencia. ¿Qué tú crees? Yo soy bastante competitivo. Chefs! <laughs> see, I got chefs on deck, baby, you know what I'm saying? We're in the Culinary Institute, right? You see at Cambridge School of Culinary Arts. Are well, they gonna judge what you make and what I make? Ready? I'm pretty confident. Wow, mira como suena esto, loco. Fíjate que eso, bro. Yo, why y'all get me government cheese, bro? The cheese is not melting, my guy. What's it that made you feel the most at home? Being here in Boston, there's a lot of Puerto Ricans, <laughs> yeah. there's a lot of Dominicans, and and that makes you feel closer to home even when you're not. What about you? What, 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 was, what was school like for Kiki? I was not a very good student. I've never been I, too good at paying attention. I can relate. This, this might turn out, didn't pay enough attention to the chef and my friend might meet, but <laughs> yeah, glad baseball worked out, man. ¿Cuáles eran los platos, el cuisine que te gustaba más? Me crié con Familia de parte de madre, cubana. Eh, mi papá, boricua de pura cepa. De Arecibo, Puerto Rico. Y cuando yo era niño, teníamos una señora que nos cuidaba. Y la señora era dominicana. So, teníamos comida todo. dominicana también. So, no hay nada como la comida latina. Nada. Esto va a quedar, el papá, que de aquí para un libro de los récords. Vamos a llamar a los chefs, a ver. ¿Qué es lo que es? Chefs, chefs. please. <laughs> We're adding some adobo. Oh, I like I that. I even put some adobo in my protein shake before games. <laughs> He's not lying. That's the secret, El secreto huh? de la vida más fina. <laughs> Is there anything that's very Boston that you like to do? In the off-season, it's, uh, it's like therapy for me to go out on a long walk with the dogs. And you got music? Like, uh, no, because I, like I like to listen to my surroundings. As a kid growing up in Puerto Rico, I got traumatized by like dogs running out of houses and like chasing me. <laughs> Chef, don't take presentation. Into account, into, no? into evaluation, okay? <laughs> Just flavor. We have the typical tripleta from Puerto Rico. We got some steak, some pork pedinil, and then some ham, along with some lettuce, tomato. That's what everybody goes to after they go out, hang out, after a good night, drinking a bunch of beers. Mm. You, you know, you backed away from that sandwich mad fast, my guy. He's like, yo. <laughs> it's really delicious. I just took too big of a bite. That's all. <laughs> I love the, the mayo ketchup. You know, I did I, I did a traditional Bronx dish. This is a chopped cheese, all right? We got caramelized onions, some ground beef in there, some cheese, adobo, sazon. Mm. Oh, it's absolutely delicious. Nice with the fresh tomato as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's banging. I love it. <laughs> I love yours too, Kike. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, I love this one because of the texture, but I, I'm a fan of cheese. I love cheese, and so that's got my heart here. And a little bit of spice. Hey. Yeah. Born and raised in Boston in this New York-Boston competition. I'm going to have to go with uh, the New York one on this one. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're both great. You know that stadium where we play baseball here in Boston? You're probably not allowed in there. <laughs> but it's all right. Let's go get a beer, bro. Let's, Let's do, do it. Let's do it. Anybody wants a tripleta? Tú has llegado a la cima de la pelota de la Liga Mayor. ¿Cuál es el secreto tuyo a vivir la vida más fina? To me, what I try to do is enjoy every day. This is my 10th season in the big leagues and playing with a lot of older guys, everybody says how fast it goes. I can attest to that. I feel like I made my debut two weeks ago. I try to set it aside for a couple of minutes every day to like be thankful for where I am for what I get to do. A consejo tú le puedes dar a un novato o un tigre que está ahora entrando a, you know, that process. Que sigan soñando. Lo más importante es seguir soñando y nunca perder el deseo. Todo el mundo lo dice, pero es verdad. Llegar a Grandes Ligas no es lo difícil. Lo difícil es mantenerse en Grandes Ligas. Y eso conlleva mucho trabajo, mucho trabajo fuerte, mucho sacrificio. Una cosa que es bien importante para mí es siempre disfrutar ese juego. Al final del día está jugando un juego de niños, así que disfruta todo al máximo. Juega fuerte, juega duro. Y que nunca dejen de soñar. Si lo puedes soñar, lo puedes lograr. Si lo puedes soñar, lo puedes lograr. Lo dijo el Quique. Amén. Salud, mi hermano. A la vida más fina. <laughs> Is that good eye contact? 
Let's end it on that. <laughs> <laughs>